Thank you. You need a gun to go talk to your mother, Dan. You don't know my mother, Jack. You ready to tell me why she was wrong? Why we don't belong here? In about four hours, the Dharma folks at the Swan Works site, they're gonna, they're gonna drill into the ground and accidentally tap into a massive pocket of energy. The result of the release of this energy would be catastrophic. So, in order to contain it, they're gonna have to cement the entire area in, like Chernobyl. And this containment, the place they built over it, I believe you called it the hatch. The swan hatch? Because of this one accident, these people are gonna spend the next 20 years keeping that energy at bay by pressing a button. A button that your friend Desmond will one day fail to push. And that will cause your plane, Oceanic 815, to crash on this island. And because your plane crashed, a freighter will be sent to this island, a freighter I was on and Charlotte was on and so forth. This entire chain of events, it's gonna start happening this afternoon. But we can change that. I've studied relativistic physics my entire life. One thing emerged over and over. Can't change the past. Can't do it. Whatever happened, happened, right? But then, I finally realized. I had been spending so much time focused on the constants, I forgot about the variables. Do you know what the variables in these equations are, Jack? No. Us. We're the variables, people. We think, we reason, we make choices, we have free will. We can change our destiny. I think I can negate that energy. Under this wand. I think I can destroy it. If I can, then that hatch will never be built and your plane, your plane will land just like it's supposed to. In Los Angeles. And just how exactly do you plan on destroying this energy? I'm not that made of hydrogen bomb. This is a mistake. He's talking about erasing everything that's ever happened to us, Jack. It's insane. We just appeared off a plane in midair and ended up in 1977. Getting kind of used to insane. Uh, we should really keep moving. Oh, well, you can keep moving, because I'm thirsty and I'm going to rest. <sighs> Need a gun to go talk to your mother, Dan. You don't know my mother, Jack. You ready to tell me why she was wrong? I've studied relativistic physics my entire life, Jack. I've spent years just staring at equations. One thing emerged over and over, one simple rule. No matter what, you can't change the past, you can't do it. Whatever happened, happened. In layman's terms, a 
creek keeps washing over any pebble thrown into it. Pebble represents a change, a small change. The creek is time. Okay, now, after Charlotte died, I left the island. I used the Dharma facilities in Ann Arbor to recreate my entire life's work for three years. I stared at these equations again and again and again until I finally realized I had been spending so much time focused on the constants, I forgot about the variables. Do you know what the variables in these equations are, Jack? No. No, I don't. Us. We're the variables. People. We think, we reason, we make choices, we have free will. If we, if we accept that we can't, can't change the past, can't do anything about it, then we don't even bother trying. But if we decide, if we believe that we can change the past, then we don't use pebbles, Jack. We use boulders. You see? Because if you drop a big enough rock into a creek, you create one, a dam, right? And then that creek changes. But we're not talking about throwing rocks into a creek, are we? That's right, John. So what are we talking about exactly? A little over a day from now, the Dharma folks at the Swan work site, they're gonna drill into the ground and accidentally tap into a massive pocket of energy. The result of the release of this energy would be catastrophic. So, in order to contain it, they're gonna have to cement the entire area in, like Chernobyl. And this containment, the place, the place they built over it, I believe you called it the hatch. Because of this one accident, these people are gonna spend the next 20 years keeping that energy at bay by pressing a button. A button that your friend Desmond will one day fail to push. And that will cause your plane, Oceanic 815, to crash on this island. And because your plane crashed, a freighter will be sent to this island, a freighter I was on and Charlotte was on and so forth. This entire chain of events, it's gonna start happening in less than 36 hours. When you said you could get us back to where we belong, you weren't talking about where we left from, were you? No, because none of us belonged here in the first place. I think I can negate that energy. I think I can destroy it. If I can, then that hatch will never be built and your plane, your plane will land just like it's supposed to in Los Angeles. And that freighter will never be sent. And finally we'll be free. And just how exactly do you plan on destroying this energy? I'm gonna detonate a hydrogen bomb. 